DailyWritingTips.com presents Creative Writing 101. What is creative writing? Creative writing is anything where the purpose is to express thoughts, feelings, and emotions rather than to simply convey information. We'll be focusing on creative fiction in this video, mainly short stories and novels, but poetry, biography, and creative nonfiction are all other forms of creative writing. Here's a couple of definitions. Creative writing is writing that expresses the writer's thoughts and feelings in an imaginative, often unique, and poetic way. Sill.org, what is creative writing? Writing is a form of personal freedom. It frees us from the mass identity we see all around us. In the end, writers will write not to be outlaw heroes of some underculture, but mainly to save themselves, to survive as individuals. Don DeLillo Writing of any sort is hard but rewarding work. You'll gain a huge amount of satisfaction from a finished piece. Being creative can also be difficult and challenging at times, but immensely fun. How to get started. Many people think that just because they've read a lot of stories, or even if they haven't, they should be able to write one. But as Nigel Watts writes, there is a common belief that because most of us are literate and fluent, there is no need to serve an apprenticeship if we want to become a successful wordsmith. That's what I thought until I tried to write my first novel. I soon learnt that a novel, like a piece of furniture, has its own set of requirements, laws of construction that have to be learnt. Just because I had read plenty of novels didn't mean I could write one any more than I could make a chair because I had sat on enough of them. Nigel Watts, Teach Yourself Writing a Novel By all means, if you're keen, jump straight in and have a go. But don't be too disappointed if your first efforts aren't as good as you'd hoped. To extend Watts' metaphor, you may find that these early attempts have wonky legs and an unsteady seat. There are lots of great books aimed at new fiction writers, and I'd strongly recommend buying or borrowing one of these. Want to be a writer? Jane Wynnum Jones. Teach Yourself, Writing a Novel, Nigel Watts. How to Write Fiction and Think About It, Robert Graham. On Writing, Stephen King. If you couldn't jot those down fast enough, they are all on the dailywritingtips.com website. I'd also recommend starting small. Rather than beginning with an epic fantasy trilogy, a family saga spanning five generations, or an entire adventure series, have a go at a short story or a poem. And if you end up chewing your pencil and staring at a blank sheet of paper, or gazing at a blank screen for hours, try kickstarting your writing with a short exercise. Don't stop to think too much about it. Just get going without worrying about the quality of the work you produce. Tips and Tricks for Beginners Do some short exercises to stretch your writing muscles. If you're short of ideas, read the Daily Writing Tips article on Writing Bursts. Many new creative writers find that doing the washing up or weeding the garden suddenly looks appealing compared to the effort of sitting down and putting words onto the page. Force yourself to get through these early doubts, and it really will get easier. Try to get into the habit of writing every day, even if it's just for ten minutes. If you're stuck for ideas, carry a notebook everywhere and write down your observations. You'll get some great lines of dialogue by keeping your ears open on the bus or in cafes, and an unusual phrase may be prompted by something you see or smell. Work out the time of day when you're at your most creative. For many writers, this is first thing in the morning before the demands of the day jostle for attention. Others write well late at night after the rest of the family have gone to bed. Don't be afraid to experiment. Don't agonize over getting it right. All writers have to revise and edit their work. It's rare that a story, scene, or even a sentence comes out perfectly the first time. Once you've completed the initial draft, leave the piece for a few days. Then come back to it fresh 
with a red pen in hand. If you know there are problems with your story but can't pinpoint them, ask a fellow writer to read through it and give feedback. Have fun. <coughs> Sometimes we writers can end up feeling that our writing is a chore, something that must be done, or something to procrastinate over for as long as possible. If your plot seems wildly far-fetched, your characters bore you to tears, and you're convinced that a five-year-old with a crayon could write better prose, take a break. Start a completely new project, something which is purely for fun. Write a poem or a 60-word mini-saga. Just completing a small finished piece can help if you're bogged down in a longer story. DailyWritingTips.com has online resources online at dailywritingtips.com. When you have a moment, go take a look. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe. And while you're there, why not just give us a thumbs up? Get more grammar, punctuation, and spelling tips at dailywritingtips.com.